Good morning, everyone. Uh, we welcome you uh, joining us this morning for our staff devotions as we gather together on this Tuesday morning at Eastertide. And we continue to celebrate that Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our scripture reading that is assigned for today for our lectionary is from 1 Peter chapter 2, beginning at the first verse. Rid yourself, therefore, of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation. If you indeed have tasted that the Lord is good. A devotion from Word and Season this morning uh, ties in with this text, and, and it is the following. As long as I live, I will never forget the joy of holding my only child, Scott, for the first time, precious, cuddly, and hungry. That problem was solved without delay, and those early feedings helped him to grow. Just as newborns need to food to grow, the we adults need food to grow spiritually. One place that we can find this food is the scriptures. For example, when we read this text from Isaiah, we may receive courage, and it says, Do not fear, for I am with you. When we read for this from 1 John, we may receive the power to love, and the text is that we love because God first loved us. Food helps us grow and stay nourished. Spiritual food helps us to grow in our faith. We receive spiritual food through studying scripture, hearing the good news proclaimed, receiving Christ's body and blood that is in the mutual conversation and consolation of the saints of God. For today's prayer concerns, we continue to pray for theologians and pastors and all who teach scripture. We continue with responsive prayer for this morning. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven, give us today our daily bread, and pray us our trespasses, as we forgive those who sin against us, and give us from the time of death, and deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O oh Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise. And your glory all day long. Every day will I bless you. And praise your name. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O Lord of all the ends of the earth, and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And of all that is within me, bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave. And crown me with the mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my prayer rise up before you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We remember in our prayers today, members of our congregation that we lift up in our prayer, prayers of praise and thanks. For the birth of Nora Clare and Landry Jean, we ask for all those who are working for peace and justice and understanding in our community and for our world. For the miracle of healing, for the fellowship found in our church family, for all blessings, those that we recognize and those which we are unaware of. During the season of Easter, we offer our prayers of thanks and praise to God for sending the Holy Spirit to work through us and among us. We remember prayer all who are grieving the death of a loved one, Lorna, 
Arletta, we remember the hospitalized, Cole, the sick and recovering, Robert, Ariana, Bishop Stephen, Kenny, Bunny, Norma, Chris, Rose, Marty, Becky, Linda, Eugene, Ethan. We remember those who are facing surgery on this day, those who are in hospice care, all battling cancer, Donna, Chloe, Julie, Kay, Dave, Tom, Connie, Joyce, Carol, Jack, Eldine, Lorraine. We ask that you continue to be with those who are struggling with mental health and addictions, all military personnel protecting our way of life in this country and overseas and, and for their families. We pray for all veterans, those who have lost unemployment, particularly during these days of the pandemic. We pray for the community of Postville and the communities in which we live in, those who do not know Christ and those who need your forgiveness. Gracious Jesus, our Lord and Savior, at this hour you bore our sins in your own body and on the tree that we are, being dead to sin, might live unto, unto righteousness. Have mercy on us now at this hour of our death and grant to us, your servants, with all others who devoutly remember your blessed passion, a holy and peaceful life in this world, and through your grace, eternal glory in the life to come, where with the Father and the, Soul, the, with the Holy Spirit you live and reign, God, forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.